Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been two weeks since that last video and uh, there's been at least some changes here. So let's go ahead and take a look at the tank. Tank is looking pretty good. I have the lights turned down right now, but uh, Bubble Tip has picked a spot out that it likes up there. That's great. Um, these two frags here aren't doing so well. The red eye chalice uh, seems to be receding on the back side and the Superman Monte or whatever it's called I uh, was not doing well uh, I just picked up this bubble tip and enemy about an hour ago from a local guy and I picked up a couple more uh, Accordia frags back there in the back uh, I'll throw in pictures of all this stuff um, later uh, I moved the uh, pulsing zinnia to the back there uh, to try and get them into a spot with less flow because it's just looking skinnier and skinnier so uh, these two recordias are doing fine uh, this one's doing fine uh, the maxi mini carpet anemone was in this spot here and the Engineer Gobies went ahead and filled the spot with sand, so I have no idea where the carpet and enemy went. Um, what else I've got back here in the corner? It's going to be impossible to see. I'm going to try and put the light on it. But um, there's a flower and enemy back there. It seems to be set up pretty well. And uh, what's last? The firework cloves here seem to be doing pretty good. So. To feed the corals, I've gone ahead and bought some of this um, Red Sea Reef Energy Plus Coral Nutrition AB Plus uh, because I heard some I heard some bad stuff about the reef roids. Um, I don't know enough about it, so if you know, you know what kind of coral foods are best, uh, let me know because I really don't know. Um, to to feed this stuff uh, it says to turn the skimmer off so I've already turned the skimmer off uh, I need to clean it anyway it's pretty nasty and so let's get this uh, reef energy poured out and put it in the tank all right so this stuff has quite the yeasty smell in it but I'm gonna go ahead and put in like 10 milliliters I think I'm only Supposed to be putting in like, hmm, probably closer to nine, but whatever, we're dropping in. And this is supposed to be really cool, so. That was pretty cool. Just a big cloud of green. So we'll let that do its thing and we'll come back and kind of see what all the corals are doing. I may have mentioned before that I'm kind of lazy and so I haven't cleaned this uh, skimmer since I started the tank up five months ago but that's what the little flipper deal from the inside looks like. Uh, it's pretty nasty. So we're going to continue to try and break this down and clean it up and then put it back in the tank so this is how dirty the skimmer is uh, for the most part it doesn't really produce like dirty water but it does produce this gunk everywhere which is I guess just as effective but I would rather have the uh, the gunk come out with the water but Beggars can't be choosers, and as long as it's working, everything's cool. So, let me clean this up, and we'll get back to you. Well, I clearly made a mistake, and all these fish and corals have arrived on the same day. So, I'm going to go through them as quickly as possible, because i got to work today. Uh, this is my shipment from Blue Seas Aquarium. You can see their logo here. I got... This starfish here, sand, stif sand sifting starfish. 
and they got two corals. Um, pretty sure they're both recordias, although this one looks a little funny. Well, anyway, so I'm looking at the bag here, and right there, there's an a stern of starfish, and that's a bad guy. So, thumbs down on that. But thankfully. I bought some coral dip. It's chilling in this bucket here. And so we're gonna dip this coral once I get it open and get it in there. All right, so not only was there an astern of starfish in there, that right there, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but that is a flatworm. That's not just bad, that's really bad. Supposedly the coral dip will take care of that, but we'll see. Okay, so the corals are dipping in the coral dip. Uh, starfish just about ready to acclimate. And we're opening the second box here. This is from Reef Gardener in Miami, Florida. something in that bag so hold on a second while I open so I'm gonna have to figure this out I think this must be the their idea for heating and cooling pad because there's nothing in this bag here it appears to be just a bag of water and so these are how the corals arrive from reef gardener uh, the water is a bit cloudy so far, I don't see any pests, but let's open this outer bag and see what's inside. So this one's like a, a leprosis or something. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Uh, it seems to be rubber banded to a piece of styrofoam, uh, probably to try and protect the frag from doing what it's doing right now, which is laying up upside down. So let's go ahead and get this out of here, get it into the dip, and then we can get it in the tank. So they're in here acclimating now. And what I found out was with this one, which was a, a double frag, uh, that poor little guy there has fallen off the flat frag during shipping. So I'm not sure what I can do to save him. But we're going to try. Now the final box here is from Frags to Fishes. Uh, this is my second time buying from them. Uh, they sent a whole bunch of free stuff with the last coral I bought from them, including this keychain. Got this sticker. They're also the ones that sent me the sample of Reefroids. And they're also the ones that sent me the free coral, I believe, that went in the, uh, the small tank over there. So let's get this box open and see how we did here. So I probably should have showed more than that, but I didn't. Uh, it was stuffed in here with, of course, a cold pack and lots of these packing peanuts that I'm tossing in the other box. Scent, candies, like another sticker, another card, another sample of Reef Roids. And I got a magnet this time instead of a keychain. Oops. But that's pretty cool. I like free stuff. Let's open the big bag and see what we got in there. Over here, that's a bristle worm that just came out of one of these frags from the last box I opened. So, just about done dipping these corals, so it's time to get them in. And then we'll start getting those corals out. So this is one of the bags from Frags to Fishes. Uh, looking at it, I mean, they're not nearly as cloudy and dirty as the other ones. And so far, the only thing I've seen inside any of these is maybe a copepot. pot. Yep, I'm pretty sure there's a copepot pot swimming around in there. But that's it. Other than that, all their frags look great. Look real clean, well labeled. 
So yeah, let's just keep trucking on and getting these in the tanks before I have to get to work. So the frags have been added to the rack here. Uh, I've got the shipment from Reef Gardeners here on the end with this um, large green Recordia there, this bright orange one here. I know it doesn't show up well with the motion of the water, but what are you going to do? Um, I got these two, looks like Zoas, but they don't seem to be too interesting looking under my lights. And then I got the Fabia or Leprosis or whatever you call that thing. It's pretty cool looking, plus that other Recordia over there. Uh, that one there. And then from frags to fishes, I've got uh, these as well as their Bam Bams. And then these are like Captain Jerks or something like that. And then I got a Duncan. And then those two were from before. And then that's a that's actually a Yuma, a super red Yuma mushroom. And then that's a different kind of recordia there. Again, I'm gonna try and get pictures, better pictures of this stuff, but it is what it is. Uh, also from frags to fishes, I've got this horseshoe crab, which I mean eventually he's gonna get big and I'll have to get him out, but kind of wanted a horseshoe crab that's why I have so much open space here so I could have a horseshoe crab and there he is horseshoe crab and seeing as I forgot to mention sooner uh, back here in the corner again you can't ever really see anything but um, the uh, maxi mini carpet anemone is back there in the corner right next to the right next to the rock flower anemone that I assure you is quite pretty. I just wish it would wander out here where I could see it. But what are you going to do? Um, this chalice is not looking good. I think I'm just going to go ahead and move that right now. Yeah, it's like peeling back on that end. So I'm just going to add it. And in the back of this frag rack, hopefully it does better over there. Yeah, I don't think the engineer Gobi is going to like this guy. Because he is digging a hole in their hole that they dug, so. I don't think I mentioned where I got this frag rack from. Uh, it's an ice cap frag rack. It's magnetic. So it's got magnets on the other side of the tank there. Um, I put it in the back there because it keeps it out of the path of the, uh, of the wave pumps at least a little bit and so far everything on there seems to be pretty happy that they're on there uh, to keep them out of the flow um i might have to turn down the flow in here uh since it's beating everything up everything that's not like all this stuff on this far rock is okay um doesn't seem to bother this bubble tip and enemy much uh, Blasto seems happy there, but um, yeah, basically everything in the middle here is just getting blasted by current. So I might have to turn these down. They're only on 20% right now, but I might have to turn them down to 10 and maybe even 5%. But we'll see. Um, go ahead, let me know what you think, and we'll go from there. So trying to keep an eye, but this engineer Gobi right here has discovered the horseshoe crab digging a hole in the front of his hole 
he wasn't too happy with it. He was trying to bite at it and get whipped by the tail of the horseshoe crab. Pretty entertaining to watch. So I'm supposed to be putting this AB Plus in here daily, so here comes my favorite part of the day from now on. Hey, sorry that episode was a little choppy, but um, I was in, you know, I mentioned in the video there that uh, I was rushing to get to work. Um, so I had all those corals come in and then had to dash, had to get them all in the tank and then dash off to work. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.